Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before I begin, I now have a Discord server. I will leave a link to join in the description. Some of the things you can enjoy if you join is a place dedicated to K-pop memes, a music lounge to listen to your K-pop faves with others and these amazing custom emojis. And hey, you can reach me and 200 other K-pop fans anytime, so join in. This is the best place for mature, non-toxic K-pop fans to connect. So, join in if you can. And now, let's get into the video. This isn't my first time talking about ships. I've discussed toxic ships before and I'll link those below. <coughs> but this video is different. I'll be discussing weird ships. Now that term is quite vague. Anything could be a weird ship. This is a weird ship. This is another weird ship and of course, the original weird ship. In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. For me, weird ships are those that not only seem forced and excessive but also ones that are grounded in delusion. I mean shipping someone like Joy and Sungji is understandable. They had great chemistry and seemed to really get along. But if you then go ahead and ship Irene with Mr. Worldwide for example, I might just have to turn off my computer and never return. Although, who wouldn't fall for this pair? <laughs> so, first let's start off with a recent one. Charlie D'Amelio and Jungkook. Or what the shippers call, Charkook. Let me be the first to say this, what in the actual fuck? This ship is like that feeling of seeing a teacher outside of school, you're uncomfortable, you wanna hide and quite honestly, you wanna sink into the floor from cringe. Now, this one is something that has only really started, but I've seen an overwhelming response of disgust and, rightfully so, I think the only reason this even exists is because there was some young army out there, I'm guessing under 10, that thought hum. I saw this girl on TikTok, and this boy on YouTube. Guess what? I'm gonna ship. What the fuck? Can this person's mom get her a Barbie and Ken so she can fantasize with them and leave poor Jungkook alone? This week alone, he's dated half of K-pop, half of Hollywood. <coughs> Your mom, my mom, and someone's dad. Give the boy a break. But the worst part about this is the ages. Charlie is a minor. I swear to god, some of you want Jungkook to be arrested so badly. First it was Yuna from Itzy and now Charlie. Oh, but god forbid he finds someone he likes that's around his own age that makes him happy, right? And even if you had to ship, you had to pick a TikToker? Do better. Now just to torture you all even more, here are some edits I found online. Skip if you have a heart condition. This ain't gonna be pretty. <coughs> I think the word I'm looking for is... Ew. Moving on to the next absurd ship. Halsey and RM. Unlike the last one. Halsey isn't a child so... Namjoon wouldn't go to jail like his bestie Jungkook. It's just the fact that the main reason people ship the two is because RM is the one in BTS who's fluent in English. And people just needed someone to ship with her. Also, they did the handshake so they must be married right? Go. Okay, go. <laughs> what about the fact that she's having a whole ass child with someone she loves? Sorry to break it to y'all, but Namjoon isn't a home wrecker. Besides, the best part of Halsey and BTS interactions is the fact that they are actual friends apart from the industry. I feel like they genuinely enjoy each other as artists and aren't just close for connections. Why ruin that with useless theories? The same goes for Becky G and J-Hope. Normalize hyping up friendship without turning everything into a ship. And next we have, J-Hope's sister with literally every BTS member. Now this was the original weird ship and old armies would agree with me on this. In loads of fanfics, J-Hope's sister was always some BTS members' girlfriends. There were super weird edits too. Mostly with either Jimin, Namjoon or Jin. I swear, I wake up every morning praying that J-Hope didn't see any of those. He would be so weirded out. I know she is married now, 
and congratulations to her, she looked absolutely gorgeous, and I also hope that her getting married will mean that these ships end, but you know we can't be too hopeful, just by looking at how close BTS members are with each other and their families, I mean look at this interaction between Jimin and Jungkook's mom. <laughs> <laughs> you can bet that most members probably see J-Hope's sister as their own sister too. If not, they probably respect her a lot and don't want her to be dragged into these weird imaginations and delusions. Let this fancy girl boss do her thing and stop being weird. Besides if anyone does want to date one of Job's sisters, pick this one. She's single and ready to mingle. And now we have, the controversial Bang Pink. Before I even get started on BTS and Blackpink, I just wanna say that I generally don't like ships, because the more popular they get, the less interactions we will get from those idols. Neither the company nor the idols want dating rumors to interfere with their work, so if they see they are being shipped with another group, you can bet your dump truck, they are going to avoid that group like BTS avoids flopping. Imagine how many wholesome interactions we could have gotten from all these groups, if you all did it stick your filthy noses in the middle and started playing matchmaker. I'll never forgive you for all the collab stages we could have gotten. And coming to Bang Pink specifically, I already know there's going to be a lot of people ready to end me, since there are a lot of shipper between the groups. But I don't care and this must be said, Bang Pink ships are some of the most awkward, unrealistic and honestly delusional ships out there. D-G-A-F. I don't give a fuck. Period. I honestly hate all ships that are too excessive or just ones that seem to be hinting at more than just a cute friendship. But the pairings between BTS and Blackpink are so odd and awkward and I'll elaborate. Rose and Jimin are shipped just because they have a higher tone of voice. What kind of reasoning is that? And Jungkook and Rose are shipped because they're both main vocalists. Do you really think idols go around looking through each other's files and profiles? Like oh can't date her she's a rapper and I'm a vocalist. I never thought I would actually have to explain this but here we are. You know what's even worse? Liz Cook. I will never understand how this ship is actually popular. The only thing Lisa and Jungkook have in common is that they are Macnees. And they are both tired of your bullshit. If you actually knew both groups and tried to understand Jungkook and Lisa's personality, you would know that these two are not a great match at all. The worst part is that anyone who tries to point this out is bombarded by these shippers. And they always say quote, you are only hating on this ship because you think you have a chance with these idols. Um, no, I just find it weird that you choose who these idols are allowed to date. Like... It's actually disturbing how you all will hate on anything alive and breathing if they even come near Jungkook and Lisa. Doesn't matter how happy someone would make them, you'll rather force your own narrative on them. And what about Jenny and V? The ship that has the worst edits by far. Those two couldn't be any less compatible. In fact, BTS and Blackpink are probably the two biggest groups who have had the least interactions. BTS and Red Velvet are most likely good friends. We've seen honest interactions from them and BTS were the original revelers back in the day. Same goes to G-Friend and Mamamoo. Twice and BTS have also had some funny and cute interactions. And while I don't think they are that close, we've still seen them do more than just breathe in the same room. And by this, I don't mean that these specific groups deserve to be shipped together. Nope. It's just that friendships and interactions between the groups are realistic and make sense. So then even if some people make up ships, they are still cringe but not as delusional. If that makes any sense. Blackpink and BTS however have barely made eye contact for more than one second. The closest interaction of probably when BTS danced to Blackpink's song. And when Blackpink danced to BTS's song. 네 이번 주 1위 방탄소년단입니다. 축하드립니다. 방탄소년단이기 정말 축하드립니다. 트로피는 저희가 꼭 전달해드리도록 하겠습니다. We all do that. Why am I not shipped with them? What a rip off.
but knowing how much YG hates BTS, it's probably very understandable why Blackpink aren't even allowed to breathe in the same direction. I wouldn't even be surprised if YG's contract looked like this. Quote, no dating, no tattoos, no drugs, blah blah, no talking to BTS, they stole my wig. <coughs> and please, none of this is a diss towards BTS or Blackpink but you would have to have less than two brain cells if you ship groups with legit no interactions. But you know I can't move on from this without sharing some cringy content. Grab a bag to bath in, here are some edits. These ones I call, sure let's give a 20 year olds. Babies for some reason. And next, let's take one person's picture from when they were like 17 and use the other person's picture from when they are 23. And here we have, I'm gonna create a K-drama with these idols. I'm confused. And that brings us to the end of this nightmare. I mean video. Please like this video because for you this was only 12 minutes of torture. But I had to live through this for a week while editing. Well, I hope you at least found this video entertaining and informational in some way. Again, the link for my discord will be in the description. And I definitely want to add to this style of video by maybe expanding the topic to weird ships in K-pop as a whole. I just started with BTS because those poor boys really get shipped with everyone and everything. Anyway, subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in my next video. Take care and bye.